Okay, welcome to another example of applying De Moivre's theorem to solve a question. So this example says, if z equals cos theta plus i sine theta, show that z to the power n plus z to the power minus n equals 2 cos of n theta. Hence, by expanding z plus 1 on z all to the power 4, find an expression for cos to the power 4 theta in terms of cos 4 theta and cos 2 theta and then use this result to evaluate the integral from 0 to pi of cos, fourth, uh, cos to the power 4 theta, d theta. Okay, so the first part uh, requires us to show this small uh, proof here, and that's something we've seen in a previous video or a couple of other videos. So I'll just do it again in case you haven't seen those previous videos. So we're going to have z to the n, well that's cos theta plus i sine theta to the power n, right, and by de Moivre's theorem that's of course cos n theta plus i sine n theta, right, and that's z to the power n. So we can call this equation 1. Uh, let's have a look at z to the negative n. So that's cos theta plus i sine theta to the negative n and so therefore z to the negative n is well cos of negative n theta don't need this bracket here plus i sine of negative n theta and since cos is an odd function we have that cos of negative n theta is cos of n theta and since sine is an odd function this becomes minus i sine of n theta right so let's call that z to the negative n equals that let's call that equation 2 all right we want z to the n plus z to the negative n so if we consider 1 plus 2 that will give us z to the n plus z to the negative n that's cos theta, or cos n theta, plus i sine n theta, plus cos n theta, minus i sine n theta. Of course, these sin, i signs will cancel, and we're left with what we need to prove. 2 cos n theta, right? That's right, QED, which means we've shown what we need to show. Okay, let's have a look at the next part. Hence, which uh, already tells us that we're going to somehow use this result. So hence, by expanding z plus 1 on z or to the power 4, find an expression for cos to the power 4 theta in terms of cos 4 theta and cos 2 theta. Okay, let's have a look at the expansion of z plus 1 on z to the power 4. Okay, so we're going to use our binomial theorem here. So that's going to be 4, choose 1, oh, choose 0, z to the power 4, plus 4, choose 1, z cubed times 1 on z, plus 4, choose 2, z squared times 1 on z or squared, plus 4 choose 3 z times 1 on z cubed plus 4 choose 4 1 on z to the power 4 okay now what's 4 choose 0 if you you probably will end up memorizing some of these uh, numbers here if you use them often enough so that's 1 so here we have z to the 4 4 choose 1 is 4, and we have z cubed times 1 on z is z squared, plus 4 choose 2 is 6, and z squared times 1 over z squared is 1, so we have 6 times 1, which is 6. Here we have 4 choose 3, which is 4, times z over z cubed, which is 1 over z squared, and here... We have 4 choose 4, which is 1, and so we're going to have 1 over z to the power 4. Okay, 
So now we can collect the powers which are of the same magnitude but opposite in sign. So what do I mean by that? Well, we collect uh, z to the 4 with 1 over z to the 4. So I'm going to have z to the 4 here. Now I can write 1 over z to the 4 as z to the negative 4. So I have that term there. Plus, between these two terms here, I can factor out 4. And I can do a similar thing. I get z squared plus z to the negative 2. And plus 6. So what's that equal to? That's equal to z plus 1 on z to the power 4. Okay. Now, let's have a look at what we've proved previously. We proved that z plus z to the negative n equals 2 cos n theta. Now, if we apply this formula to these three uh, brackets here, then we get to uh, we almost get to what we are trying to get to. Remember, we want to get cos to the power of 4 theta in terms of cos 4 theta and cos 2 theta. Okay, so if we apply it here, that's going to be this formula with n equal to 1. So we're going to have 2 cos theta all to the power 4. That's going to be equal to. Now, here we can apply this formula with n equal to 4. So we have 2 cos of 4 theta. Here we have 4 times this formula with n equal to 2. So we're going to have 2 cos of 2 theta. And here we have plus 6. Now, this is going to be 2 to the power of 4, which is 16 cos to the 4 theta equals 2 cos of 4 theta plus 4 times 2 is 8 cos 2 theta plus 6. And we need to get cos to the power of 4 theta in terms of this. So we divide, we divide by 16 and we'll get cos to the power of 4 theta is equal to we divide this by 16, is the same as dividing each term by 16. So we're going to get 1 over 8 cos 4 theta plus 8 over 16, which is a half cos 2 theta plus 6 over 16, well that's 3 over 8. Okay, and there we have our expression for cos to the power of 4 theta in terms of cos 4 theta and cos 2 theta. And the next part of the question asked us to integrate between 0 and pi cos 4 theta, cos to the power 4 theta, rather. Okay, now we can use this formula that we just uh, worked out to help simplify this expression, uh, expansion because this isn't a standard integral. Now when we look at integration in the integration topic, we'll see other ways of uh, computing this integral. But for now, we use this method. So I'm going to have the integral from 0 to pi of 1 eighth cos 4 theta plus a half cos 2 theta plus 3 eighths d theta. Okay, now I'm sure you know how to integrate cos 4 theta and cos 2 theta. That's from your tuner maths. So this is going to be 1 over 8 times 1 over 4 sine 4 theta plus 1 half times 1 half uh, not cos, sine 2 theta plus 3 over 8 theta evaluated between 0 and pi right so what we did we just uh, integrated cos is sine but we need to use the reverse chain rule and divide by the inside derivative here so that's where these 1 on 4 and 1 on 2 come from. Okay, so now we can evaluate this. We just substitute in our top limit first. That's going to be... Now, we look at this and we note that sine of 4 pi and sine of 2 pi, in fact, sine of any integer multiple of pi is 0. So this term will become 0 when we substitute pi. This term will become 0 when we substitute pi. And we get... 3 over 8 pi. Now this is subtracted from 
substituting in the value of the lower limit, so we sub in 0, and you'll see that the same thing happens. We get sine 0, which is 0, so here we're going to have a 0. Here we'll also have a 0, and 3 over 8 times 0 is also 0. And so our integral comes out to 3 over 8 times pi. So that's our integral there. So the integral between 0 and pi of cos to the 4 theta d theta is equal to 3 eighths times pi. And that's the end of the question. So I hope you learned something in this video and uh, be sure to subscribe for more videos. Thanks.